So, here's all of my gear laid out. Uh, I do have those hanging up. I'm only going to bring one of those to start with, though. So, we'll start over here on the right. I have Solomon's X Mission 3s. Uh, pretty good from what I've used them thus far and uh, from what I've read about them. So, Deuce of Spades, of course, weighs next to nothing. A head net, just in case there's still some bugs up north. Um, hopefully, they're gone by the time I get there, though. Got the Z seat, of course, because everybody uses it. Um, trekking poles. So, <clears throat> believe it or not, these are Walmart, and I've been using them for a year, and they're actually really comfortable. They work really well, and they only weigh a pound, three ounces together. So, they're actually really light. Um, if they do happen to die on me, then I'll get some, some newer, probably some better ones, but those things have been working great, so I'm going to keep up with them. A uh, pair of gloves so I can kind of save my hands, hopefully, uh, both using the poles and for all the crazy rock scrambling that I'm going to be doing through Maine. Uh, down here, all the miscellaneous junk mostly. Got headlamps, mirror plugs, just in case I'm in a shelter and it's loud and obnoxious. Uh, bug spray, camp wash, body glide, uh, pseudo little med kit. I got some Neosporin, moleskin, alcohol swabs, uh, fingernail clippers, a couple band-aids. Uh, toilet paper goes with the deuce. Uh, electronics. I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus, which is kind of heavy, but it takes really good pictures, so I'm going to use it. Uh, I got a charger, charging cable. Um, I'm going to bring one of these two. I haven't decided yet. Uh, both of those are battery banks. If I decide I want to bring my headphones, I'm going to bring the big battery bank because they're wireless bud headphones, and they're going to need charging also, so I'll need the extra battery bank. If I don't, I'm going to use this, um, so that'll be nice and light. Um, what I'm going to be wearing day one, so I've got some North Face, super light, wickable, elastic uh, shorts, and a little button-up shirt. I actually, as I've adjusted, I actually like hiking with a, with a button-up shirt. Um, it's super light, it wicks really well, um, and it's air flows really well, so I'm going to use that. Um, my backup clothes are the traditional Under Armour, uh, Under Armour stuff. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, a pair of darn tough socks, uh, buff, and my gaiters. All right, cook system and water. So water, traditional Sawyer squeeze, a couple, uh, couple bladders, uh, an extra top, and then the the double, female to female attachment, so I can screw one to the other. Uh, works pretty well. Um, bear line, this is a pair of 50-50 cord. Uh, it only weighs about two ounces, so it is pretty light. Um, if I decide it's too heavy or I don't need that much, then I'll cut it apart or find, find something different as I go. Uh, knife, I realize it's a little bit big than the normal, but it actually only weighs an ounce. Uh, it's super light, kind of flimsy, um, but it seems to work pretty well. I've been using it for about six months, so I'm going to keep up with that. Uh, I got my Sea to Summit titanium spoon i don't need the spork everything i need i need a spoon so i keep with the spoon instead of the spork um in here is my cook system i have not joined the pocket rocket revolution i'm still on the jet boil because i love it i got rid of all the extra accoutrement the little stand all the extra stuff um so inside the lid i have a stove part and a can of fuel and they both fit in there really well and the whole kit together is super light so I'm gonna stick with it until I decide I either want to go cold brew or uh, I guess I want to go ultra light and get a pocket rocket but this for me works now I like it uh, it fits perfectly in my pack how I want it to so I'm gonna keep up with it this is my second set of clothes Uh, like I said, it's the traditional um, Under Armour stuff. So, a pair of Under Armour Super Lights. Under Armour shirt, same thing. Uh, super wicking, dry, ultra light. Uh, X Officios. Uh, I have one pair of X Officios. I have one pair of Duluth Trading Company. I'm still figuring out which one I like better. Um, gonna be honest with you, I think I might like the Duluth Trading Company, the Armachillos. They're pretty comfy. 
Uh, they stay dry, they stay clean. Um, so I like them. Uh, two more pairs of darn tufts. So I'm gonna start with three pairs. Uh, obviously one pair for camp, one pair for wearing, and one pair in case I get wet and need to swap out. Uh, pack cover. So maybe I should have started with it, but there's my pack. Uh, Talon 44 and the small pack or the medium pack cover fits with it perfect. Um, I originally had the Atmos Aether 60 and decided it was just way too big and way too heavy. It was five pounds and 60 liters. Uh, this thing is two and a half pounds, 44 liters, and I fit all of this gear in here and I still have probably 40% of the pack left. Um, I'm gonna have you know, most of my water treatment stuff and what I can here in the pouch on the outside, water bottles on the sides, and everything else fits either inside or in the brain. All right. Uh, tech towel weighs about four ounces. Um, it's the large one. I like it. I'm going to use it for pretty much everything you need a towel for, uh, including, you know, river baths, lake baths, whatever I need it for. Um, food bag. Big Agnes, Fly Creek, Fly Creek Ultralight 2. And then I have the fancy Big Agnes uh, bag that is not only a stuff sack, but it is also the uh, dry sack. So I can keep everything dry in it. Um, and it also is used to blow up my air mattress, which is actually pretty handy. So I don't have to deal with it. Um, I have a lot of problems sleeping. I have to have a pillow, so I have a blow-up pillow. Weighs about two ounces. Also in here, I had a Nemo Disco 30, 30-degree uh, bag, and every time I use it, I open it up and use it as a blanket. So I figured, why not save a pound? I found the REI Synthetic um, Camp Blanket. Uh, it keeps me warm, it keeps me comfortable, um, it keeps me cool, which is most important for me because I'm like a furnace when I sleep. So I went with the REI Camp Blanket, it was only 80 bucks. Um, the Rumble Down one is awesome if you want to pay 250 bucks. I don't need Down and I didn't want to pay 250 bucks. This one is 80, it's synthetic, uh, it's okay if it gets wet. Unlike the Rumble Down one, if you get it wet, you might have a problem. Uh, Last thing in the stuff sack is Qcore SLX, uh, three inch air mattress. And I'll be using that all the time because again, I'm a terrible sleeper, so I need comfort. This thing, as you can see, it kind of fills up with air and then fills up the air mattress. I'm gonna keep basically all my sleep system stuff in here like I had it. Uh, it's dry sack, it's gonna keep it nice and dry. And then I don't believe it's going to be cold enough, so I have my puffy jacket is the North Face Thermo Ball, um, but it's not going to be cold enough for me. So that's going to be on standby. I'm going to have it shipped to me probably, you know, October, November when I decide I actually need it. In the meantime, I have a cool uh, base layer, long sleeve. Uh, it's pretty light, weighs about three ounces, so I'm going to use that for my long sleeve if I need it in the evenings or whatever at camp and uh yeah so that is all my gear the only thing I'm missing obviously is a couple uh, smart water bottles and food uh food I plan on doing my first five to six days in my pack which will be about 10 pounds and I'm gonna have the AT Lodge do a food drop at mile 65 and it'll have the second half of my food for the 100 mile wilderness. So that is it. That is all my gear. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, problems, issues, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, if not, I'm looking forward to being on the trail uh, July 19th, southbound. Happy retirement to me. Thanks.